My name is Steve McCrindle, and I'm the Port Operations Director at DP World Southampton. We operate the UK's most advanced logistic hubs, with two deep water ports at Southampton and London Gateway, with access to rail freight terminals, and a rapidly expanding logistics park on the doorstep of the capital. My personal ambition is to make Southampton the greenest port and DP World the greenest logistics solution provider here in the UK. Today I would like to tell you more about the progress we're making. At the beginning of the year we spoke about DP World Container Terminal at Southampton, enjoying its greenest ever year after delivering an absolute reduction of 55% in net carbon emissions from its fleet and installations. We did that by transitioning last April to hydro-treated vegetable oil, HVO, a renewable biodiesel derived from sustainable sources. 2023 will be the first year in which we use HVO for a full 12 months and we expect further significant net reduction in carbon emissions. This means an absolute reduction of 75% in 2023 compared with 2021. This progress shouldn't be seen in isolation. It's part of a series of measures which were taken to make our UK business net zero well before the government's target of 2050. We're also looking to cut emissions further by increasing our renewable electricity usage. This will mean installing significantly more solar panels at our UK sites over the next three years. In 2022, we introduced the first ever all-electric terminal tractor at a British port, and we have three more in order and due to arrive this year. We're also trialling the world's first fully electric shuttle carrier. This allows us to provide even more low carbon logistic services to our customers. And our £350 million new fourth berth at London Gateway will be the first in Britain to be all electric. It will be open for business next summer as part of the Thames Freeport. We're also building some of the most sustainable warehouses yet built at our London Gateway Logistics Park. Across Europe as a whole, DP World's absolute CO2 emissions reduced by 20% compared to 2021. There's a lot we don't know about the journey to net zero and what it will look like. What we do know, if we're going to get there, organisations like ours need to play our part. And I'm pleased to say we're doing that and hope to be doing more soon. I'll keep you posted.